What's up my VR gorillas? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Gorilla Tag on your Oculus Quest. So with that being said, things you will need, a PC, your Oculus Quest, a cord to plug your Quest into your PC, and then a few applications we'll talk about in the video. If this video ends up helping you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I release tons of videos all the time about how to mod certain games and how to get the most out of your Quest. But with that being said, let's hop straight into today's video. Before I teach you how to mod Gorilla Tag, I have to make this very clear. These mods are not to be used in public matches. These fun mods are only supposed to be used in private matches as public matches could ruin the game. Think about it like hacking. You're just installing something onto the game in order to change the experience. If you use this in public lobby, that could be harmful to the other players. So please keep all of your mods in private matches. The only mod I could say you could use elsewhere would be cosmetics. This is why most of the mods deactivate themselves when going into a public match anyway. With that out of the way though, let's get into it. The first thing you should do is plug your Oculus Quest into your PC. If you're having difficulties finding a cable to use, remember you can use your charger. If you're having difficulties finding a spot to plug in the USB-C end of your charger into your PC, you can always buy a converter online from Amazon for like 3 bucks. Also, if you have a Samsung phone over an S8, I think, you should have a USB to USB-C that should go into your computer and into your Quest. Once you've plugged in your headset, the next step is to put on your headset. Once it is on, click Allow Access as well as Allow ADB Debugging. If you do not get the Allow ADB Debugging pop-up to appear, it should appear after the Allow Access one. That means you have to turn on Developer Mode. Over the course of the past two years, Oculus has made it harder and harder to turn on Developer Mode, but I do have a video up in the top right that shows most of the steps into creating an organization then going onto your phone and turning on Developer Mode. So make sure to go check that out if you haven't quite gotten the ADB Debugging pop-up to appear. Now that we're finished with that, what you want to do is head down and click the link in the description that will take you to the Quest Patcher Downloader. This is a super duper helpful application made by the fish himself that runs on both Windows and Ubuntu Linux. And this patcher, basically what it allows you to do is mod a bunch of different games really, really easily. And in this case, we're going to be using it to mod Gorilla Tag. So depending on if you're on a Linux device or a Windows device, I'm assuming most of you will be on Windows, I am on Windows, you're going to click on the Windows Installer.exe, or if you're on Linux, click the Ubuntu Installer. Your installer will then begin to download. Once it has finished downloading, you can then run it. I'm just going to run it by clicking down in the bottom left. If it does not appear there, it is probably in your downloads folder or wherever you download your files. If you have Windows Defender on, it's going to tell you that this could be a virus and that you might not trust the person creating it. This is not a virus as far as I'm aware. So just click more info and then you can click run anyway. The installer will then run and you end up getting experience just like installing any other application. Just click next, 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 and then click install. The quest patcher will then install. Once it is finished, you can then choose to open it. Once it's open, you should get a green at the top saying that your headset is connected. If not, put on your headset and make sure you click allow access and allow ADB debugging and the orange will go from orange to green. A way to double check to see if your ADB debugging is working and the quest patcher is not just acting funny is you can open up side quest and you should get that green dot up in the top right. I recommend if you're having any difficulties with any of the ADB debugging steps or connecting your headset to your quest or anything about that, definitely check out the side quest how to install page. It's super helpful, goes through all the steps and what you need to do in order to connect your Oculus Quest to your PC in a functional working way to where you can sideload as well as edit with some of the stuff on your quest. If you're still having difficulties after looking at that, feel free to join my Discord down below where I'll be happy to answer questions in my VR help section on the Discord server. From there though, you can then click the big button that says patch my APK. APK just means your game file. It'll take around 5 minutes to finish patching your game, but once it is, you are then ready to start installing mods. This is the fun part as you get to go to the Discord, also linked down in the description. Once you're on there, you can then download any mods you want. Now on the Discord, you can see I head towards Quest mod releases over in that left side area. 
On there, you can then scroll through and get whatever mods you want. In my case, I got the Rising Lava mod. Before getting any mod, make sure you read all the information above the download about the mod as well as some restrictions or requirements that may come with it. Once you have read through all of that information, you can then search for the download link on their post. So when we click on that, a page will open and your download will begin. Once that download has finished, you can then head back to your quest patcher. From there, you want to click on the browse for mods up at the top, which will open up Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer is your little file folder application. From there, you can then head to wherever you download your files to and then double click on the mod to start the installation. Your mod will then begin to install and it'll open once it is finished installing. We've got one mod, but that just that's really not enough. So I'm going to head back into the server and search for another mod. In this case, the mod I am searching for is the cosmetics mod because I want to make Monkey look fly. This mod is a bit more complicated than the others as it requires you to also go and get the cosmetics to put onto your gorilla. Adding these cosmetics is super simple. You just add them the same way you would any other mod to gorilla tag. What you're going to do is go and get them from the server. In my case, I'm going to get a new hat. So I'm going to go to the hats channel that's right below the quest mods. And I'm going to search for a hat I want. In this case, I grab the beanie hat. And then all I need to do is drag and drop it into the quest patcher. And it will begin the install right to the folder it needs to go to. There's lots of hats to choose from. So if you want to make your monkey look snazzy, then go get some gorilla hats. Along with the hats, if you go to the materials section on the Discord server, you'll find some skins that you can apply to your monkeys that look super cool. With that being said, I'm now going to head into my headset to show you what some of these mods look like in game. The first thing that's super noticeable when hopping into game is obviously that I am really bad at Gorilla Tag. Moving past that though, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to actually put on your hat and where you can actually check out what you look like. So to do that, all you gotta do is head up into the tree. Once you're in there, you'll find a mirror and you can choose any of the hats or skins that you have downloaded. From there, you can then check yourself out in the mirror and look all snazzy. To use a mod like the Lava Rising mod, you have to actually be in the tree by your computer and create a private lobby. It's a bit interesting to fiddle with at first, but you should get used to typing on the keyboard fairly easily. But basically what you have to do is make a private lobby and then set the name of whatever you want your private lobby name to be. That way you can invite your friends. Now that you have your private match created, all you need to do is get four of your friends to join. And once that happens, your match will begin and the lava will start to rise. And then you can play Gorilla Tag as you would normally, but with the Lava Rising mod. And that is going to take us to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button down below and leave a comment telling me your favorite part. If you had any issues, you can also leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to try and answer every single one. If you want to see more tutorials and videos about your quest, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a live stream. But with that being said, that's going to end off today's video. Thank you to my members. You guys are absolute mad lads, my little lettuces, and my mama bear. Thank you guys so much for your support. It helps out the channel tremendously. And with that, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.